Okay, so our calculation grids and cameras are now set up. Let's go and check in the 3D view how it looks. Gorgeous, gorgeous. See the camera in 6 meters height? It's there. Look at this one. And those other cameras on the 1.2 meter height are here. Now let's go and get our amazing floodlight because I told you before the secret to this Olympics indoor swimming pool is the uh, good selection of the luminaire and that's it because it's just a simple like an area lighting. Okay, it's very easy. So let's just use storm lighting floodlight for now. Let's use this one champion. Let's select the LED because the requirement for uh, Olympic swim pool color rendering index must be uh, 5,500 Kelvin. And let's aim for this HDTV broadcast. Boom. It's very, very uh, strict compliance. HDTV. And it's 5,500 Kelvin. Wow. With the RA of... CRI of 90 so the vertical is 2000 uh, level number 6 okay let's aim for the same thing all right so let's go and uh, grab this photometrics from Thorn. so this is the LED champion let's go for the V2 so there are some optics here V1 V2 V3 I think I used the V2 before so I'll use the same. It's 939 watt with 11,000 uh, lumen output. So just click this dialog uh, text and um, it will just go directly to your dialog software. And then press save, save and then click this one. I'm using a Google Chrome right now. So click this one. And then once you do that, it will go directly. Here you go. It's here now in the di uh, dialog software. Okay, so now you're asking where is this floodlight must be located? Since I don't have the reflected ceiling plan drawing and I don't know exactly where is this brackets or railings or space framing located are like for example here in this project in this picture you can see those um, metal framings on the ceiling so you need to find out where are those metal framings located where you can put your floodlights because the floodlights are heavy it's like let's see this one i think this is 16 kg each yeah let's see uh, kg yeah no it's not even 16 it's 22 kg each so it should be safe enough to carry this uh, heavy floodlights so you need to ask the structural framing of this ceiling maybe the designer or the architect will give it to you and you need to ask uh, the location of this um, framing for the floodlights so for this one since I don't know but the good thing about me is I'm too smart to find out that there are some columns here and most of the time the, um, uh, the, the framing, the brackets or the framing of this structure from the ceiling is mounted directly from the column. So if you go to the drawing, okay, I don't, you can open the CAD and make everything in one color. So I'll select it here, I control A. So shift there you go now make all the um, drawing color or the layer color into black there you go now it's black okay so you can see that the columns are where see this one if you can imagine this one if you can read the drawing properly you can see this one is a column 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 and here in the toilet, this is a column. And here in the side, this is the column, column, and another one column here. Okay, so these are the columns. So if that is the column, then it means that the uh, bracket or the structural element for carrying the floodlights are in this side. So I will run it. So it will be from here to there okay this is another column and this is another column if you want to see where i'm 
I am pointing at, I will put a line, draw reference reference line, and I will show you this is where is the column I'm talking about. Okay, so this is the column, and it will go directly to the other side column, which is oh, why it's not matching? So I'm thinking it will be this column. Okay, so this drawing is a little complicated. <laughs> okay, let's go to the, the major column from the side. So this is the exterior column. So it means you can find it from the outside of the building also. And if you go and extend it, it's, it's nowhere to find. <laughs> this is crazy. Okay, alright, so for now... I can actually ask that to the client but for now let's just imagine that is this is where the floodlight must be located so what I'm going to do is I will just press this line arrangement click it it should be selected this uh, thorn champion floodlight and then I will just insert now if you want to see the orientation of the your photometric just click this one light distribution display and you will see that those floodlights are aiming towards this side. Perfect. And then just, just drag it there to that assumed uh, location of the framing for the column. And then move it a little. If you want to get the precise spacing for this floodlight, you can adjust it here. And I told you the mounting height of the floodlight is uh, 17 meters. Let's try it 17. There you go. And the spacing, okay, so the distance of this line arrangement is 2.2 uh, spacing. And if you want to make it as precise like 2 meters, just press 2 meters and then enter. And put it in the middle. Okay, I will make it 2.5 then. And I have 25 pieces of floodlights. Okay, and then I'll put here in the middle. Okay, this is too much. So I will just keep 23, for example, with a spacing of 2.5. There you go. Okay. And then you can just copy and rotate it to the other side. So I will just control C and control V. And then I will place and assume the location of the structural frame will be uh, so this is the one the first layer is there so that is fine then I will just rotate the orientation of this floodlight so I'll make it 270 there you go now it's aiming on the middle of the swimming pool all right and let's just run the calculation for now um, let's open this light distribution and let's see what is the value as an initial lighting calculation all right looks good and let's see the re the result for this um, calculation report so let's go for this um, TA summary See, it's 1,300 lux with 0.57 overall uniformity. And for the PA is 1,400. Okay. Alright. And for the vertical, so if this is the result, 1, 4, and what is our requirement again? Our requirement is 2,000 lux. But we need to make, uh, okay, if it's 1, 4 already, then we can add another layer and lessen the number of rows. And let's check for the vertical if it's 1, 4. If we achieve 1, 4, then it's really easy now. Okay, let's go and check one camera. So where is my cameras? Uh, cameras? Where are the reports for my camera? Summary. Okay, so for the overall, this is for the overall room. I'm looking for my cameras. Okay, I think I did not turn on the cameras yet. So I'll go and turn on the cameras. 
Okay, so let's turn on the cameras because I think I did not turn on the cameras. So, camera one, symbol, geometry, um, oh shoot, it's in the TA. Okay, TA and then calculation grid, measurements, and here, of course, it's here, camera. There you go. And um, yes, this is the cameras. So it's on and for the TA, do the same, open the cameras. Now the cameras, let's say 1.2 meters, also for the TA, 1.2 meters. Perfect, now this is on. So let's try and calculate it again and see how it looks. Okay, I think I need to label the cameras into camera number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 properly. Perfect, how it looks. Ooh, look at that. And we can also change the false color values. So this one, 5,000, I think this is okay. Okay, so let's go to the report and see how the camera looks like. For the TA, camera is 800 lux. For the PA, which is almost the same, 700 lux. Perfect. Alright, so... Since our requirement for the camera is 1,400, it means we need to have it doubled. Alright? Common sense. We need to double it. So, let's go and double our uh, number of luminaires. So, it's easy. I'm just going to control C and control V. And then I'll just move it from the back. Here we go. So, again, let's... We need to make sure the location of the space framing bracket for the floodlights. This is where the mounting position of the floodlights will be. And then control C, control V again and put it on this side. Okay. And let's run a calculation. Very easy. And see how it goes. There you go. Okay. So let's see what is the report now. There you go. Oh, goodness. See, it's 171515 and 1492, which is this camera. And we can label it later. Oh, wait. Six. Camera number six, which is this one. So, the, the highest fixed camera has the 1,400. And I think this is fine enough. Because if you remove one more floodlights, it becomes less than 1,400. And for the T. A, uh, PA, now it's 1, 4 also. Also, the camera number 5, this one, is also 1,400. And the vertic the horizontal, it says 2,900. Perfect. So, we're done. Ha! <laughs> Very easy. So, Francesca, we already achieved the last level requirement. All you need to do now is to add some decorations. And you need to find out the exact location of this flood lights uh, space framing bracket. We just assume this one. So if the space framing bracket is mounted a little backward or forward, then you just need to adjust it. Now with this one, you can now add your decorations like for example, the water effect on the ground like what I did for the Dar Al Handasa. Where is it? Let's go and check. Yeah, there you go. So I added the the diving board and also the water uh, texture. So if you want to also calculate the 150 lux level requirements on the um, audience area, then you need to add calculation surface again here with slanting position and. Um, you need to find out the height of these benches. So you need to ask for the section view. Since this file doesn't have a section view, unfortunately, because this free uh, feature, oh, I already closed it. This free CAD file doesn't have the section view. Yeah, we need to suffer for this one. But in actual, you need to ask for the section view of this building or of this structure. All right, so you will find out the height of the audience area so if you want now to add the height of this old uh, the calculation surface for the audience because it needs 100 150 lakhs at least 
all you need to do is add a calculation surface, not the calculation grid. Calculation surface, go to the object tab again, 